Hello, it is Sunday, fun day, October 24th, I believe. It is 2021, Steve Cypress here, and we are experiencing a cotton candy type of sunset. The clouds, I don't know if you can catch in the iPhone camera, but they are pink and fluffy like cotton candy. What the heck? Very cool. Anyway, uh, so recently I saw that this uh, Katie Couric came public in uh, a book that she just uh, published that she had deceptively inter uh, 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 edited an interview she did with uh, the notorious RBG Supreme Court Justice extraordinaire Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, a hero of all kinds of causes for women and others. And, uh, and uh, Katie Couric had interviewed her for whatever show it was. And at uh, one point in the interview, which was edited out originally, and now recently it has surfaced years after Ruth Bader Ginsburg is no longer with us, uh, where Katie Couric asked for a question about Colin Kaepernick and what she thought about the kneeling for the anthem. And Ginsburg loves the country. She was a Supreme Court justice for crying out loud, which makes her different than uh, the current crew running things in the country and a lot of the politicians and almost everybody in the media who absolutely just vehemently hate the country. And uh, I guess that's how, why Couric deceptively edited it out because it didn't, didn't fit with her I hate America agenda. She must have been shocked that Ginsburg loves the country because she was like, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but she's something like, he has the right to act like an idiot. He can be stupid if he wants. You know, I'm going to defend his right to do it, but it's stupid. Kneeling for the national anthem, disrespecting yourself and the country. How idiotic. And yet, I mean, I've been saying that right from the first day he did it. And the reason I'm talking about this today, it's not really a business lesson, but it hit homes with, hits home with me because I was a lifelong diehard NFL football fan of my beloved but incredibly inept. I don't know what they're doing now. I haven't paid any attention to the thing for years. I assume they're still inept, the New York Jets. Uh, but I digress the whole league. You know, I, have, I noticed uh, looking back through my blog, uh, my videos, articles I've written uh, pointing out all kinds of horrors of, uh, of the totally uh, uh, just horribly run NFL with their bogus cancer uh, awareness months in October, their bogus military gestures, uh, all kinds of crap, and then worst of all, allowing the players and practically celebrating with them, like owners and coaches, like kneeling with them, disrespecting the country and the flag and the national anthem, along with these idiot players. I mean, they're kids. When I was their age, I was an idiot, and I even went to college classes, some of them. Like, these guys, you know, they're, it's notorious that these uh, college football stars on scholarships, knowing they're going to make millions and be pros, they don't go to classes. Uh, so they really... I mean, probably never in high school or anything. I mean, uh, but there, there's very few of them that are. When they are, it's very surprising to find some intelligent ones, like this NBA one now who's, who's sacrificing his own uh, personal uh, income for the year and, and his reputation. He's getting slammed by leftists uh, and all the, likely his teammates and whatever for taking a stand for freedom. In America, but anyway, uh, he sounds and others sound extremely intelligent. But the usual athlete, typical uh, athlete like Colin Kaepernick, is incredibly. I mean, I think he's got to be dumber than most because he's just a complete idiot. And Ginsburg said that he's incredibly stupid, but he has the right to be incredibly stupid. She said it was, uh, again, paraphrasing, but it's just like flag burning. She goes, "I'm not in favor of that either, but I'll defend your right to do it. This is America. We have freedom, or we had it." Till a couple of years ago, now we've forgotten what freedom is like. Uh, but people are starting to, I think they've had, some people have had enough and they're starting to revolt against all the BS mandates and authoritarian nonsense that has nothing to do with health, nothing to do with safety, everything to do with power and control of the government over our lives. And, uh, but anyway, you gotta hand it to Ginsburg. She loved the country. And uh, she pointed out the truth, the absolute truth right from the start. Only a uh, rose-colored glasses, way far-left, America-hating idiot would ever support kneeling for the national anthem. How outrageously stupid, outrageous. I mean, you know, I talked about a lot at the time. I mean, these, the NFL teams would travel overseas and play a game in London or whatever. Oh, they wouldn't kneel for the, for the British national anthem. Like, 
Oh, but it's not around the national. Of course it was. They were disres They wouldn't disrespect their host country over there, but they disrespect their own country. Ruth Bader Ginsburg would have none of it. And Katie Couric hid that from America. And if she hadn't published this book, I'm guessing that never would have come out, that, that uh, part of the interview that ended up on the cutting room floor. We never would have known that, uh, of course, congratulations. Thankfully, Ruth Bader Ginsburg loved America, respected the country and was just shaking her head at idiots like Colin Kaepernick. And I just had to think immediately, man, what if Roger Goodell, talk about an idiot, had seen that statement, that 30 seconds or one minute out of that interview, would he have been so stupid as to allow his teams, they're not technically his employees, but his team's employees, the players in the league, to disrespect their own country their own flag, their own national anthem themselves, make idiots out of themselves. Like, would he have allowed that and lost millions of lifelong diehard fans like me and others? Uh, man, like Katie Couric hiding that from Roger Goodell and the rest of us and the team owners and all the ones that, that idiotically uh, came out and were afraid. Even if they, you know, liked the country or were against the, the stupid actions of Kaepernick and other kneelers, uh, they were too afraid of the woke mob to uh, challenge it. And, oh, gee, we have to allow it and whatever. Like, man, if they had seen that part of the interview, I would likely be spending today, it's a Sunday, just realizing I would have been watching some football games. That I'm get, I know it's the fall, and the season is on, right? And tomorrow night's a Monday. I would have been watching Monday night football like I did for 50 years of my life. So uh, thanks a lot, Katie Couric, for hiding the truth. From me, others, and the people in charge of the NFL where it really mattered, I have a feeling it could have made a big difference. And uh, however, on a positive note, I've got my Sundays back, my Monday nights and Thursday nights and whatever else. And, and uh, you know, I found other things to do and I enjoy the time. I just no longer partake of uh, the NFL at all. And uh, likely never will again, unless there's some massive, massive changes. But... Man, if Goodell and others had only been allowed to see the truth, one of their own far left woke cause champion Ruth Bader Ginsburg going, yeah, but that is stupid. Kneeling for the national anthem, disrespecting the flag. Anyway, that'll do it. Yep, there's the flag in the background. What do you know? Not being disrespected. Even the turtle is enjoying the flag. And I hope you are enjoying the cotton candy sunset. Let's see if it's still there. Ah, sun kind of went down. The pink is gone. And so that's my signal to be out. Thanks for being here today on Sunday Fun Day. And I'll catch you back here tomorrow. I will have business building tips tomorrow, as always, on Direct Mail Monday. I will catch you then. Over and out. Bye-bye.